It is a structural collapse technician unit, and the men and women in this unit are trained for this type of job. Their first priority is going to be to render the building safe with the assistance of technicians. And as soon as they do that, their next priority is going to be to clear out the pile of rubble, the bricks and etc. that are laid on the other side of the car. Of course, the obvious mission of this is just to go ahead and confirm that we have no injuries and make sure that no one was um, immediately under the building when it fell. So that is the priority they are working on right now. Again, that unit is a specialty unit that is trained exactly for this building collapse. So again, our um, top priority is ensuring that no one was injured while making this area safe. Again, it's still an unstable structure, so we're working right now to get that handled as quickly as possible. We've been able to move many of the vehicles off of the street. Many people have come forward with their keys. So we've, able, we've been able to clear the area out. And again, we just ask that people um, stay back and, and be safety conscious as portions of the building could continue to deteriorate as they work on it. We just wanted to take a minute to give you a final update. They have um, looked through the initial area that they were concerned about and are confirming that we have no victims or no injuries on this. And, um, Chief Williams tell you a little bit more about that process. Well, th thank you, Corporal. I, I think that's pretty much it. Our biggest concern out here today was we had a uh, what we call an outward collapse over to the street, which uh, Im impacted the sidewalk. We wanted to make sure that that was clear uh, before we turned it over to the demobilization crews to be able to start bringing down the uh, unsafe barrier that's around the building. So we've done that. Uh, we feel very confident that there is no body. Again, again we will continue to uh, do a very demobilization process, uh, demolition process, excuse me, to make sure everything's okay, but uh, we're currently going to be working with a downtown group and different agencies, police, fire departments, and you know, the engineering firm contractors to determine what we're going to do with the 100 block of Foster Street. Uh, we're going to do everything within our power to isolate the area so we can let patrons again come down into this 100 block uh, to support the downtown Dothan efforts. So, any questions? Uh, does the fire department expect to inspect these? Abandoned buildings to make sure they're structurally sound so something like this doesn't happen? Well, we don't inspect abandoned buildings. If you'll notice along the buildings, they are, we have large red X's on the structure. That means we have inspected and determined that it is not safe for um, public occupants. And it's also a do not enter the structure if it's on fire for my firefighters. So that way we don't put firefighters in abandoned buildings that can collapse on. So we do not inspect actual abandoned buildings. We do determine with the building officials with the city that the building is a nuisance or is a, uh, a hazard to public safety. When it's that way, we uh, try to work out details to take care of those buildings. Okay, how about the one that collapsed for you? Have you ever inspected that one? Uh, no, this building was under uh, renovation uh, prior to the permitting phase, which means they were doing cleanup work, et cetera. Uh, to get that done, so we do not inspect until the permit is taken out on that structure.